In this video we're going to look at some real life examples of dividing fractions. So here's example 1, here's example 2, okay, and here is example 3. Alright, so we'll start with example 1. And, um, let's see. So with example 1 it says if 4 ninths four ninth yards of material are needed to make one scarf how many scarves can be made from 44 yards of material okay so what that's saying is if you have 44 yards of material just draw this out for a visual so this is 44 yards okay and you can make one scarf from just a little bit just the four ninth four ninth yards okay how many of these can be made from the 44 yards. So, how many of these little 4 ninths yards would need to add up to give 44, basically? Isn't that what it's saying? In other words, 4 ninths plus 4 ninths plus 4 ninths. If you keep adding these guys, how many of them do you need to add together to get to 44, right? And if you remember when we introduced uh, fractions, we said okay let's start with um, we said like you know 10 divided by 2 what's that well it's 5 well why because one way of thinking about it is how many 2's are in 10 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 there are 5 2's in 10 see that and so that's one way of thinking about 10 divided by 2 so how many 4 ninths are in 44 you can write this 44 divided by 4 ninths is saying how many four ninths are contained in 44? How many four ninths are contained in 44? Okay. Well, four ninths goes into 44 how many times, in other words, right? And so if I just calculate out this little um, problem here, then I have the answer. So we now have to do that. We're dividing by a fraction. We need to multiply by the reciprocal. We need to flip it upside down. Okay. So it's 44 times 9 over 4. And can you uh, turn 44 into a fraction? 44 over 1, right? Now can we cross cancel anything? 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into this, 4 goes once, and 4 to this, 4 goes once, so we get 11. So this gives me 11 times 9, 99, over 1 times 1 is 1, which of course gives me 99. So the question was, how, if nine four ninth yards of material are needed to make one scarf, how many scarves can be made from forty four yards? Look at them. How many scarves can be made? How many four ninths are contained in forty four? Sorry, how many four ninths are contained in forty four? We figured out ninety nine. So the answer is ninety nine scarves, isn't it? Ninety nine scarves, right? Okay. Let's have a look at example two. If a bottle holds three fifths three fifths points of water, this little bottle here, how many of these bottles can be filled from a twenty pint container? So many points how many bottles can be filled with this? How many of these would be contained in this, in other words, right? So the question really is if I add three fifths How many of these do I need to add in other in order to get to 20? That's basically what we're asking, isn't it? Okay. And the other way of looking at it is, is how many three fifths are contained in 20? So it's like saying 20 divided by three fifths, or how many three fifths are contained in 20, right? So we can solve that one. So press pause and solve it. You just need to multiply by the reciprocal. 5 over 3. And this is 20. Write 20 as a fraction. 20 over 1. Cross cancel common uh, factors. Well, there aren't any other. Uh, that gives me 100 over 3 which um, 
gives um, let's see I'll just do long division or whatever you want to call it 3 into uh, 10 goes 3 times remainder uh, 1 3 into 10 goes 3 times remainder 1 so basically the answer is is in fact uh, 33 and remainder 1 or actually 33 and 1 third is what it is so um, how many of these points can can be filled from the 20 point container well 33 full bottles is the answer and a little bit left over but 23 or 33 full bottles I think your homework questions will probably work out neat, neatly neater than that but anyway okay so example 3 um, a pancake mixture calls for one and, a, one and one quarter cups of flour. If you only have an eighth measuring cup, eighth cup measuring cup available, how many of these little eighths will you need to add to get the one and one quarter cups? In other words, how many eighths will need to add up to give one and one quarter? Okay. In other words, how many eighths are contained in one and a quarter? And how would you write out this division problem? Wouldn't you go one and one quarter divided by one eighth? Or how many eighths are contained in one and a quarter, right? And by the way, I'm just going to turn that into a regular fraction. Four times one is four plus one is five. Just so you know, that's actually five quarters, five fourths. Four times one is four. 4 plus 1 is 5, so 5 quarters. So I have 5 quarters divided by 1 eighth, and we can just go ahead and solve that, right? So all we need to do is multiply by the reciprocal. So it's 5 over 4 times 8 over 1, and we can cross cancel common factors here. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 8 goes twice, and now we get 5 twos is 10 over 1 times 1 is 1, so we get 10. So the question was, how many of these, these is talking about the eighth measuring cups, and the answer is 10, so 10, uh, we need 10, um, one eighth cups is what we need, that's the answer, right? 10 one eighth cups would give the one and one quarter cups of flour altogether, right? 10 one eighth measuring cups.